Okay, in this video I'm going to show you a, a trick you can do with a tool post grinder um, and I'm going to use it to uh, to make up a new base for this um, land and top tool post holder that came with a little old shoreblum. Uh, that goes through the centre, it's got a little rocker that goes in there and then your, your tool piece sits on that and the screw comes down and holds it all together. Uh, the problem is that the whole thing's pretty beat up um, but it's salvageable. This part here which is the base that has the rocker sitting in it is pretty knackered really so I'm going to make up a new one of these. And the trick is how do you make a semi-spherical uh, centre. How do you put a semi-spherical centre in the middle of the, the base? Some of the later ones just have a flat um, base that the tool piece just sits on but this takes the little rocker. So the trick is if, if you try and do it freehand you're going to really struggle to get A the curvature and B get the correct angle. It's, that would be very very difficult. So the way to do it get out your tool post grinder and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, next part of the clip I'll uh, give you the run through. Okay, here's my trusty tool post grinder, it's a wall down. Um, I've done a heap of work with this thing and uh, unlike a lot of people who buy these things and are frightened to use them, uh, mine gets regular use and uh, that's the beauty of the Asian lathes, um, everything's covered up lead screw, gear train, belt drivers all sealed so you don't have any, any of the issues that you get with the old, old lathes. And basically here's the piece of work in the chuck that's being machined out of a piece of old railway dog plate um, just to show they're not balling you. There's the bit I cut it out of down there that's really good hard steel, a high carbon steel uh, you don't want to go using mild steel for um, a job like this because it will get uh, uh, bruised by the uh, clamping action so you get something really hard and railway dog plate is about as hard as you can get and it's good stuff. So you can see in here where I've already partly ground my way into the um, centre so what I'll do, I've drilled out the, um, bored out the centres of the correct size and now I'm grinding it out and the way you do it is basically and a lot of people buy these grinders and they just use them to grind flat stuff you know and maybe a taper but if you use your imagination you can actually grind all sorts of shapes with them and in this case we bring in the the side of the stone and we use the curvature of the stone to make the concave in the the semi-spherical concave in the, uh, the workpiece. Quite simple. So wind her in and it comes in on that angle. Now if you want to, coming around here, if you want to sh change the degree of the spherical slope you just rotate your tool post um, clockwise or anti-clockwise going clockwise will make it go deeper, a deeper concave bringing it anti-clockwise will make a more shallow cut so basically you're using the outside edge, the curvature of the stone to do the work for you. Quite simple really but uh, as I said a lot of people just use uh, tool post grinders to uh, fl do flat stuff or tapers mainly but they can do a lot more as I said and uh, this is an example I'll uh, do a bit of grinding. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm ready to do some grinding. I've got the uh, the lathe uh, um, spinning in uh, reverse direction on the spindle, um, and the works in the forward jaw chuck. So this is going to be pretty noisy. So I'll fire up.
Okay, so now we check to see if the taper is uh, the correct angle, which it should be. We've already done this once. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. I'll bring the camera around, you can have a look. So you can see that is absolutely spot on. And uh, it's just a matter of now grind it to the correct diameter. So you have to make sure that you've got the correct diameter here. And then once you finish that, well then you'll grind the outside edges away and then uh, slice it off and uh, you're good to go. Polish it up and you've got yourself a new, a new lantern tool post base. Easy as that.